Huh? What about the last bit? Is it too steep for me? Will I go for it? What about the last bit? Nice little visit. Oh, bro. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. I hope your sheep uh, are very good. Ciao. So strava. So strava. Plenty of water, plenty of sheep. That little Roman bridge. I live like that. So, this is one of those little places they have in the communities where you just can sit down, have a beer, have a cup of tea, yeah. drink some water for free, and the locals keep it up. It's great uh, life, isn't it? It's great life, yeah. yeah. into the sea, waves of the sea. But the icon, standing upright on the waves, advanced towards the west. The mother saw the miracle and instructed her son to follow the icon. He travelled west, finally arriving at Mount Athos, and there became a monk. At the end of the 10th century, the icon appeared in a column of fire over the sea in front of the monastery of Environ. Seeing this miracle, the monk set out in boats and went to the icon to recover it. But each time they approached the icon, it moved away. During the night, the mother of God appeared to one of the monks, Father Gabriel, and told him she would give him the icon to the monastery. But she wanted him to go alone and retrieve it from the sea. He made the sign of the cross and started walking on the sea waves as if he was walking on land. Nothing new there. After he retrieved the icon, the fathers placed it in the main monastery church. On the next morning, the sexton went to light the vigil lamps and didn't see the icon in the temple. They started to look for it and finally found it over the monastery gates. The monks brought the icon back into the church, but on the next day they found it again over the monastery gates. This repeated several days, running until one night the Holy Virgin Mary appeared again to the monk Gabriel and told him, Don't tempt me again. Cat of the Rosen Monastery, and here you're guarding the icon of the Virgin Mary and all of the drawings at the sacred chapel. And I just wanted to ask you, um, do you feel a lot of responsibility having to mind these priceless icons? Um, living in a monastery for so many years, um, do you um, miss the company of women? Um, or do you find 
pleasure in more simple things, such as um, the odd little bird or mouse. Um, what's it like being a, a religious, religious cat? Oh, I see you've taken a vow of silence. Okay, well, I'll be moving on. Thank you. And thanks for allowing us to go here to your lovely monastery. <laughs>